Are we just never going to talk about the fact that whenever we have stuffy noses, there's that one nostril that is always way more stuffed than the other nostril. And then they just keep going back and forth, becoming stuffed and unstuffed. It's because you technically have two noses. Smell me out. Despite your nose looking like one unit, if you were to peel back your face, you would see that your nostrils have actually very little to do with one another. Your nostrils are constantly engaging in this alternating cycle so that one clogged and one clear feeling when you're stuffed is actually happening all the time. It's just not very noticeable when you're not sick. And it has everything to do with what your nasal passages are made of, which is erectile tissue. Yes, the very same tissue found in penises. This venous erectile tissue can swell with blood and basically infections will worsen that swelling. It can blow your nose all day long and it won't clear up your nose. That's why a decongestant like pseudoephedrine works so well because it constricts the blood vessels in your nose to combat that swelling. And you can try this right now. Close off one nostril with your thumb and then breathe normally. Then do it again on the opposite nostril. I can guarantee you that one nostril is easier to breathe out of than the other. Ultimately, it's hypothesized that we have two noses for efficiency. Our nasal system is one big HVAC, so our nostrils are essentially working in shifts. While one nostril takes on the hard labor of keeping our lungs clean, the other one rests. It does all of this without us even needing to think about it. It's pretty cool.